So where are you from? Boston. How long have you lived here? Two years. Lost your accent? Yeah. Well, you know, when in Rome. Why, are you looking for a girl with an accent? No, 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 that, that's all right. Because I can just bring it back like that. Because I'm a whiz with accents, and I well, basically do every accent we, in the world. We don't really need an accent, thank you. Because I can be from anywhere. <laughs> okay. Let's hear that Boston accent. Now? <laughs> yes. No, I can't do it now. I would have to meet with my dialect coach, Jackson <laughs> Pearl, who was introduced to me by David Selznick. You know David or Selznick? I do. He's been very, very, very kind to me. He's taken me out to such beautiful dinners and fancy restaurants. And he's treated me like a lady and with respect. And guess what? He was very, very, very impressed when I did my scarlet for him. <laughs> audition for Scarlet O'Hara? No, I didn't audition for Gone with the Wind. But the thing is, gosh, I just love that movie so much that I decided that I had to memorize all of Scarlet's dialogues. Hey, well. And I want to do it for you, because I think no, you're no, handsome. No, no, I don't think we need that. Right but I think you're handsome, and I want to do it for you right now. As God is my witness, as God is my witness, uh, I will never go hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I have to lie or cheat or steal. I'll never go hungry again. Say you care, say the short. You... There is a pause after care. Are you familiar with the English language? I try to be. Okay. Uh, let's uh, try it again. And, and remember, go back to the beginning. You're begging him. Begging. He's walking out on you. You're begging him. So come on, let's do it. We're running out of film here. Let's go. This is a very sad scene. Do you think you're capable of playing sadness? Sure. I can do that. What do you think, Russ? This got anything to do with the girl's murder? Long shot, Chief. Sexy girl like you so sad about? Nothing. You got tears running down your face. What's the matter with you? Just a bad day. 
Well, you must have a lot of fun, you know. You look like you have a hell of a lot of fun. I'm a fun, loving gal. So you got any special guys that you, you know? I have a fiance. Yeah, I met him in Florida. And it was one of those things that was... Gosh, I don't know if you've experienced this before, but it was love at first sight. (laughs) Yeah, I I get it about five times a night. (laughs) That's what it was. He asked me to marry him that night. And then the next day, he was just gone. Well, that, that ask you to marry him always works. No, he was, he promised he'd come back and he was an Air Force captain, which is why he had to leave. He went overseas. And you know what he used to do? He used to write me such beautiful, florid, romantic love letters. Oh, a poet. Just. A decent guy. So, uh, what happened to, uh, Prince Charming? Uh... Well, the night that he was supposed to come back, he was called to do one last mission, and, uh, his plane crashed over India. And now he's dead. Boy, you sure know how to tell a funny story. (laughs) Yeah, I sure do. (laughs) Okay, uh, should I read into the camera? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm told that I'm very photogenic. I was waiting up in Hollywood land. Oh, gosh. It's the second swing. Woke her up. She looks. So like my Maddie. It was the coolest joke of all. <laughs> 